Good morning and welcome to this INEO Star Revolution webinar. Thanks for your time and for your participation. We are very glad to have you in this call. What is the webinar about? It is about a new service we have developed to speed up joint project developments with our Luran S products in areas with high weatherability requirements. My team and I hope you will find it interesting. Let me briefly introduce my team and myself. I'm Peter Rath and in the Star Revolution Specialties business, I'm responsible for three industries, compounding, construction, and toy sports and leisure. Volker Pieper is the business development manager for the construction industry and Andreas Kolf is technical account manager in my team. Andreas will take care of your questions and moderate them, either in the context of the call or after it. Please use the chat function for any questions. And last but not least, Katja has organized this webinar. Thanks for that. This call is being recorded while your participation is anonymous. Let's start with a brief introduction of Ineo Star Revolution. We are the global number one producer in Starenix. We have a revenue of more than 4 billion euro, about 3,600 employees, and more than 90 years of experience in Starenix. That combination makes us the right partner for your projects. Ineo Star Revolution comprises former businesses from Bayer, BASF, and Ineos. We are only 10 years old. We just celebrated our 10th anniversary. But we have a history of more than 90 years in Starenix. Dedicated customer solutions are our ultimate focus and in our DNA. Let's shed some light to Luranes. What is it? It is a kind of a weatherable ABS, but with a different rubber face. It has a proven performance where extended and long-term UV resistance is key. Furthermore, it comes with a balanced property profile and is therefore the material of choice for applications with sunlight exposure. Volker will briefly describe the chemical composition of the Luran S. Volker, please. Yes, of course, Peter. Luran S is an impact modified and UV resistant version of SAN, Starine Acrylonitrile. SAN is the transparent base polymer to which we add a quite UV resistant rubber copolymer. The UV resistance of both them, the rubber and SAN in combination makes a very UV resistant and impact resistant opaque polymer resin. Adding a share of Amsan, alpha methylstyrene, a high heat version of SAN, then even enhances the heat distortion temperature of Luran S. Other optional blend partners for Luran S are polycarbonate for even more impact resistance or polyamides for more ductility. Peter may show you some applications of uh, Luran S. Thank you, Volker. There are a lot of applications in many industries where Luran S is the product of choice. Luran S is compatible with PVC and is therefore used as a cap layer on extruded PVC profiles. It can also modify PVC for improved heat resistance, impact and weatherability. Different Luran S grades are available to meet your dedicated application requirements in terms of heat resistance, impact, flow, or gloss level. Product and color formulation work hand in hand 
and are complementary to each other to achieve the best-in-class UV performance. Volker will now be pleased to roll out the Luranel service package case for you. Enjoy. Actually, we are challenged by global warming. Over the last 50 years, the global temperature has increased faster than at any time in history. That, of course, comes along with more sun hours per year. And the stronger sun exposure, especially of outdoor applications, require polymers that can stand these extreme conditions to give them adequate durability. Inerstar Resolution is the global leader in styrenic polymers. It produces a broad range of styrenic polymer resin. In that portfolio, the Luran S product line offers very good basic weather resistance and optional glossy aesthetics. We combine this basic weather resistance with special color formulations developed at the Ineos Color Excellence Center to achieve long-lasting quality colors that can withstand simulated five years of outdoor weathering with only limited color variation. Our mission then is to leverage our customers with our entire color and UV resistance know-how. That reduces cost, effort and time investment in projects that provides our clients ready-made color solutions for instant access in existing or new applications. And of course, we are set up to develop customized color solutions as well. The solution is a selection of 19 colors with proven extended weathering resistance. These represent drop-in solutions with ISO-tested color deviation limits. Also, we offer our customers joint color developments with the Luran S color service package. That is a customized color matching with best in class colorants. We assess the color fastness of the customized color formulations according to ISO 4892-2A, the Florida test, and provide the test results in a statement of knowledge. We set the limit for color deviation at a delta E of smaller than five. Our customers then benefit from Luan S with the longest proven track record of UV and weather resistance, the best in class UV additive legacy, and our heritage of coloring solutions for Luran S that even enhances the already unrivaled light fastness of Luran S. Peter might give you an overview of the already existing color formulations that we offer. Of course, Volker, thank you for that. Well, you can either select from existing color formulations or start a dedicated color development with us. Our offer for an existing color consists of our Luranes product in the desired color formulation, a number of color chips, and a documentation proving that your selected color formulation comes with the desired scope of weatherability. There's a number of existing color formulations that have already been tested to the ISO 4982-2A standard which is also known as the Florida test. These colors are readily available and can of course be combined with any pure Luran S product from our portfolio. 
The gold standard highlights colors with delta E performances of less than two. The silver standard highlights delta E performances of less than four. And the bronze standard gives delta E performances less than five. All that after 5,000 hours of artificial weathering. Furthermore, we are open for any customized new color developments. Such development will always start with a feasibility check for the desired color and properties. Once completed and OK, a color match will then be done and subsequent testing will be started. The fee for the service is fully refunded once resulting business has been placed with the NEOS Revolution. A formal statement of knowledge proves that the dedicated gray color combination tested comes with a proven UV performance of delta E less than five based on the ISO test method applied. For any Luran S service package project that you will start with us, you will receive a Luran S service package folder that will contain three things. A set of documents detailing all relevant measurement results. The statement of knowledge for your great color combination selected. And of course, a number of color chips for reference. Yeah, now the question is, what can we then do for you? Let's first of all start um, asking Andreas if he has received any specific questions from the audience about today's webinar content. Andreas, you hope you had an overrun of your uh, chat box. Well, yes, Peter, there are already some really good questions from the audience. So let's directly dive into it. First question, uh, what quantity of sample material is sent with the package? And uh, could this be increased maybe for big customer trials? Thanks for that question. So the standard um, resin quantity which is produced with the color match is 25 kilos. So it's one bag. But of course, um, larger sample quantities are available upon request. Thank you, Peter. Maybe also in this regard, what is the normal lead time for getting colored samples? Our normal lead time for doing a color match and for producing the resin sample is about four weeks. Should there be a larger quantity be needed, we would need to produce that on a regular production line and that may come with some longer lead time. Mm -hmm. yeah, another question about uh, the testing, what if the test is failing means uh, Delta E is above five. Is there any possibility to shorten the timeline for a new attempt? That's a good question. Thanks for that. Uh, of course, we are doing a feasibility check yeah, before we start uh, that uh, concrete um, sampling and testing. And therefore, we should have um, good confidence that uh, the color development will result um, in a positive test uh, means with a delta E result less than five. Should we but see that um, um, a, a developed color formulation um, um, fails uh, when the test has been started, we can then of course stop that test and um, do an optimization round. Now, such optimization of the color formulation is cost free for our customer and project partners. Uh, and we will then uh, restart uh, the uh, optimization and the testing, of course. See, thank you. Here yeah, also something about performance. Uh, uh, why some gray uh, colors have different performance as bronze and silver? Well, um, the uh, overall performance of a material depends on uh, the polymer base, which is uh, the uh, Luranes material in ASA which already comes with a good uh, weatherability. And then, of course, the color formulation uh, that also um, um, has um, an impact on the overall weatherability of the system. 
it cannot be fully predicted um, how that combination performs um, and um, therefore uh, we cannot 100% uh, predict that a dedicated new color formulation will end up in a gold, a silver or a bronze result. Yeah, but uh, based on the feasibility check, we can at least um, assume uh, that uh, the target of a delta E less than five uh, is uh, going to be met. And of course, we have already that 19 existing colors, which already give us good hints what kind of colors uh, may um, come out with what kind of delta E performance. So we have some uh, some good experience on that already. I see. Thank you, Peter. I think that also answers the next question, which I have here about uh, the standards are tailored colors only offered up to bronze standard delta E smaller than five or what's the limit for these? So I think that that one is included in the answer already. Yeah, um, so maybe let me add that um, that uh, Florida test um, claims and um, requires results of delta E less than five. So if there's a, a result less than delta E five, uh, the Florida test uh, is passed. Yeah, but we have decided um, to also um, separate uh, the results into that three classes, gold, silver and bronze, um, um, so that uh, we also have a differentiation yeah, um, um, on the past results into, into uh, that three categories. Mm -hmm. Here a question regarding uh, the charge. Uh, do you charge the same fee regardless of which level of performance is used, like gold, silver or bronze? Yeah, that's also a good question. Thank you. Um, for the existing colors, we don't charge a separate fee. So that colors are ready, readily available uh, and can, of course, be selected. For any new color development and with that uh, service package involved, uh, we charge um, 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 a fee of uh, 5,000 euro, which is the same for any new color development and project. So no differentiation. Uh, as we do not know uh, the final result um, uh, right from the beginning. So we know there's a tendency what we can probably get, but we don't know it exactly. And therefore we have no differentiated uh, um, service fee. See, thank you. Here a technical question, uh, maybe for Volker. Is uh, Luren S increasing the Vika point of PVC if mixed with it? Uh, so, and what about the dosage? Uh, the suggestion, would it be 20% or, or where would it go? 20% would be uh, quite a lot. So uh, Luran S can be an option to increase the Vika temperature of PVC formulations as it is compatible with PVC. And it also enhances the impact resistance of uh, uh, PVC formulations. So uh, that might work, yeah. That's uh, correct. This is an option. Uh, the the uh, level uh, depends on what impact resistance and what UV resistance you would like to achieve or that you have to uh, achieve, but uh, 10 to 30 percent is a good number of the uh, adding of uh, Luran S to PVC. I see. Thank you, Volker. So it seems we also have some people from Asia in the audience. There is a question uh, whether we, uh, this service package is also available in Asia. Well, um, we have developed uh, that uh, service package um, uh, with the scope uh, for EMEA for the time being, but there's absolutely no problem um, to also extend it um, to our uh, Asian colleagues and the Asian markets and uh, to our customers over there. So that is well uh, possible. And um, if uh, there's interest, uh, we will expand it accordingly. Great, thank you, Peter. Maybe some last few questions here. Um, can we get extruded and injection molded samples? Well, uh, the um, samples that we produce, so the uh, color chips that we produce are injection molded. Uh, so uh, it wouldn't make sense for us um, to also uh, run extrusion um, trials um, um, or extrude larger uh, sheet um, 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 for this um, uh, purpose. Um, so the uh, color chips uh, are injection molded uh, and um, larger trials anyway may then have to be run on uh, the customer's lines uh, with a larger uh, resin sample. Uh, so, um, so what we can provide is injection molded sample plex. 
and a larger sample quantity if needed for exclusion trials. All right, I think this answers the question. Uh, so far, I see we are through with it. No more question. Or no one, one last question popping in here. Uh, what is the gloss level of the sample flux? How far? That may be a question for you then. So. <laughs> Normally, the gloss level is around 90%, but these are color plaques, so they are not optimized uh, for, a, uh, for a gloss level. So it depends a bit on which Luran S grade uh, is used. So there are matte grades available. There are also glossy grades available, but the gloss level normally with this respect is no, uh, no, no aspect that we assess so if we assess it, then we, we uh, start at a level of 90% and then we measure, uh, we measure how much the gloss level suffers over the weathering period. So uh, I hope this answers the question. Absolutely, I think so, Volker. Thank you very much. So I think this is everything. So no more questions at this point. I think there were already many today. Thanks for, for asking and for this uh, vital discussion here. Uh, I would say over to you, Peter. Thank you, Andreas. Uh, that's um, uh, very good to see that there's so many questions uh, from the audience uh, that uh, gives me the feeling that there's some, some good interest in this new uh, service. So uh, if you have any further questions um, or if you are interested in uh, further information or if you would like to start a related project with us, then you can either do that by contacting your key account manager or write us an email. We were very grateful to have you here uh, this morning. So thanks a lot for your participation in this webinar and um, also for your interest in this new customer service from Ineo Star Solution. Wish you a great day. Take care, stay healthy and goodbye. Driving success together.